This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2015 R2. This presentation deals with the new functionality that we've had with feature extraction, showing rendered Z levels and also material textures. If we look first at the enhancements we've made to automatic extraction, we can see that we've changed the dialog design. We've now included options to extract features automatically from orthogonal faces. These may also be known as cardinal faces, but we're now talking about panel edges, so the top, bottom, front, back, left and right faces. And we can now extract holes and contours at the same time on the orthogonal faces. The orthogonal faces are configurable so what that allows us to do is actually stipulate which faces we are or aren't interested in. For example if I was doing drillable holes I may not want the feature extraction to perform anything on the bottom face. I may leave that for reverse side machining. Um, likewise for the um, contours I would maybe just want to extract features that are on the top face. We've also made some enhancements to the spun out line extraction to give a little bit more control over the accuracy to give better results there. Regarding rendered Z levels we are now basically making it so there is a visible indication of Z level geometries. And this is for manually set Z levels and feature extracted Z levels also. And what this will do is it will basically render between the top and the bottom Z level it will be coloured as the layer colour. So if it's on APS geometry layer then it will be just in green. If it's on a user layer it will take the colour of the user layer. The rendered Z levels can be turned off. You can turn off just the feature extracted ones or the manually set Z levels. This is in the view display options area. Regarding material textures, these are realistic materials that can now be shown in the solid simulation to give more of an impression of actually the material that you're cutting. It will also support the show tool colors function, so your tools when they'll be used will obviously shade the features in the applicable color. For those that obviously have machine configurations and clamps, they can obviously also apply a material texture to these as well. Material textures have their own folder. It's in now in Lycom DAT called textures.alp and obviously anything within there will be visible by the system. However, there are only certain supported file types. And it also works with set materials and auto set materials. So let's have a look at these features within AlphaCam 2015 R2. So I have my solid on screen, so let's start by extracting the features. So if I go to Solid Model Extract, Automatic Extraction, we can see our new dialog box for the feature extraction. So some things remain unchanged, obviously the source that we're analysing. When we look at the main change is we have this option for orthogonal faces. And obviously now we have this, we need to configure which orthogonal faces we need. So let's configure the ones for the contours first. Well here I only want to analyse the contours on the top face. If I activated other faces, for example the right, it will then start to analyse where the cam hole has broken out into the face. And I don't want it to do this. So I'm only going to look at contours on the top orthogonal face. Obviously orthogonal faces for the holes we're going to analyse a little bit differently. Here I want it to analyse all of the panel faces except for the bottom. I don't want to look at the bottom because I don't want any machining going in the bottom face. That will be left for a second operation. We also have this option for removing duplicates. If we consider we may have a part that has a thin section and has a through hole, that hole would obviously appear on two faces. Well we don't want the machining to drill the same hole twice so we can decide to remove duplicates and then just remove either the front one or the back one or the left one or the right one. So I accept my configuration 
and then let the system extract the features. So we can see we've now got our rendered Z levels as well. If they display a little bit strange, once again this is just down to the faceting so we can refresh. And we now see that they're displayed fully rendered. And we can see they're corresponding to user layers. I've set yellow up as my through holes and pink as my blind holes. If we just turn off the solid, we can obviously see the full rendering of all the features. You will get instances where obviously the rendering of one feature has gone over the, the other. If I just come to my user layers and turn off outlines, we can see that our horizontal holes are there. They're just not visible through the rendering. However, they will still be picked up from the machining. So, if we turn our solid back on, we can obviously also realize that we may not want to see things rendered. We have the option to come in, go to display options and turn the rendering off. And this will display just the simple wireframe geometries as before, how we've obviously been used to it in AlphaCam. So what we now want to do is apply some machining to this. So let's start by opening a machine. I'm going to bring in my multi-drill machine and a multi-drill unit. So I've got my unit, now let's apply some machining. So let's use our multi-drill machining command. If I come to here, we load the unit, load the configuration, and we're going to use the current unit we'll say next. Happy with the obviously configuration, this is coming from the drills already defined on the unit. And let's just run through the machining options and obviously here we can decide which holes we're machining, how we're going to optimize the panel and whether we restrict the faces or the layers or the drill diameter sizes that we're working with. So let's just say finish to this and now we'll run into the simulation. And now we can see we have our textures. So we'll have a look a little bit more at textures in a minute, but let's run the simulation first. So up to simulation, and we can now watch our part being machined. So depending upon the texture and obviously the, the machining you're doing, sometimes it could be a little bit difficult to see. Um, so we can also add the option for show tool colors. Which obviously now shades all the tool path, the color of the tool and makes it very visible. Well, that's very nice, but obviously that may not apply to the material that we're actually working in. So we can now come to our Layers tab if we wish, to find the material that we've already defined. And we can right click on it, go Set as Material, and we now see this is obviously the texture that we're working with. So we can change our texture here, and maybe pick a slightly different material. We'll say OK to that and then we can run our simulation again and see it's now rendered in the different material.